Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and we're focused on word problem instruction. And right now, we're going to talk about not using keywords in word problem instruction. Let me show you a little bit about why this is problematic. So here are some examples of keyword posters that you might see in teacher classrooms. And what students end up doing, especially students that have learning difficulties, is they start to play a matching game between a word and the operation. So for example, over here, I see the word total, and what's really close to the word total? A plus sign. So then students are signaled that every time they see total, they're just gonna add numbers together. And sometimes that works, but sometimes that doesn't work. So here are some examples. In this green example, Casey made $42 and Mandy made $37. How much money did they make in all? So in all is one of our key terms. I see it here on this poster and it's in a plus sign. So I'm gonna add those numbers together. And if you add 42 and 37, you will answer that problem correct. But look at this one. Casey and Mandy made $79 in all. If Casey made $42, how much money did Mandy make? So here's in all, I'm going to add, but when I add 79 and 42, we are not gonna get the correct answer to the problem. So here's an example where the key term in all works. Here's an example where in all doesn't work. And the same thing here, here's where an example where more works and more doesn't work. We see the same thing with subtraction. Here, more than works as a subtraction term, more than doesn't work. Here, takes away works and takes away doesn't work. Now, you might think, well, that was just for addition and subtraction, but it's also for multiplication and division. Here, twice works as a multiplication term, twice doesn't work. Here, each works, each doesn't work. And the same thing for division. Share and each work for a division, share and each don't work, half works for division, half doesn't work for division. And the big problem with keywords is that they never work in multi-step problems. So here I might take this term back and think like, oh, I'm getting, you know, I'm subtracting. That is not going to help us at all with this multi-step problem. And starting in third and fourth grade, students are solving lots of multi-step problems. So why would we teach keywords when they're not gonna work in any of those situations? Now, the one thing I do want you to think about is that students do need to understand these key terms. It's important to know what twice means and it's important to know what each means and per and more and more than and all of those words. But don't tie a specific term to an operation. So never say something like, well, whenever you see share, that means you divide. That's not helpful for students because share doesn't always mean that you're going to divide. Sometimes you're gonna share with subtraction. So it doesn't, can't be tied to one word. In the same way is that we shouldn't do things like this. We shouldn't present word problems to students and announce at the top of the page, guess what we're doing today? Long division word problems. Here, this doesn't make students read the word problem. This doesn't make students think about the word problem. So this also is an ineffective strategy. So in this Stair Tailored, we talk about not using keywords and not defining word problems by their operation. Instead, I hope you'll tune into the other Stair Tailored where we talk about effective word problem and strategies, including using attack strategies and focusing on word problem schemas. See you later.